Have you ever wondered what became of the disciples who walked side by side with Jesus? What were the fates of these men who bore witness to his teachings, his miracles, and ultimately, his sacrifice? Today, we delve into their stories, tracing their footsteps across time and geography, from the ancient streets of Jerusalem to the far corners of the known world. Our journey begins in the heart of the Roman Empire, in what is now modern-day Italy. Here, Peter, often considered the rock upon which the church was built, met his end. Tradition tells us that he was crucified upside down at his own request, feeling unworthy to die in the same manner as his Lord. We then travel east to the busy streets of Ephesus, now located in present-day Turkey. It was here that John, the beloved disciple, is believed to have spent his final years. Unlike his fellow disciples, John is said to have died a natural death, living into old age, tirelessly spreading the word of the gospel until his last breath. The fate of Andrew takes us north to the city of Patras in what is now Greece. The brother of Peter, Andrew too, met a martyr's end, crucified on an X-shaped cross which has since become known as St. Andrew's Cross. We journey next to the bustling city of Alexandria in the land of Egypt. Here we find the final resting place of Mark, the author of the second gospel. It is said that he was dragged through the city streets until his death, a stark reminder of the price these early Christians were willing to pay to spread their faith. In the heart of the Middle East, in what is now modern-day Iraq, we find the city of Seleucia. Tradition tells us that this is where Thomas, often remembered for his doubt, found his faith and met his end, martyred for his unwavering belief in the risen Christ. And so our journey across time and place continues, tracing the footsteps of these early followers of Jesus. From James, beheaded in Jerusalem, to Bartholomew, flayed alive in Armenia, from Matthias, stoned and beheaded in Jerusalem, to Jude, crucified in Edessa, a city in present-day Turkey. Each disciple paying the ultimate price, their lives, for their faith and dedication to spreading the gospel. In the stories of these early Christians, we find a testament of unwavering faith, of sacrifice, and of dedication. They remind us that the spread of the gospel was not a path paved with ease, but a journey marked by trials, persecution, and death. Yet, through it all, their faith remained steadfast, their resolve unbroken. In their lives, and more importantly, in their deaths, the disciples of Jesus provide us with valuable lessons. They teach us about the power of faith, the importance of perseverance, and the ultimate price of devotion. They remind us that the message of the gospel, the message of love, forgiveness, and salvation, is a message worth dying for. As we conclude our journey, we are left with a profound sense of gratitude for these early Christians, these disciples who walked with Jesus, who bore witness to his life, his teachings, and his sacrifice. Their stories are an integral part of Christian history, shaping the faith as we know it today. Through their sacrifices, they ensured the spread of the gospel, paying the ultimate price for our salvation.